So here you have a very basic circuit. We have our house here with our appliances, our plugs, our sockets, our lights. And this is fed by a transformer usually in the street. We have the live come in, go through the load and return on the neutral, which is, re which is reference to earth. So we've got a working system, line and neutral coming in, powering the load. But what happens if there's a fault between the live and neutral? We need to protect the cable, we need to protect the home, we need to protect the homeowner. To protect the homeowner in his home and his equipment from fire or explosion or damage caused by a short circuit, we introduce a protective device into the line cable. We put a fuse in it. So if there is any issue, this device will operate, break the circuit and stop any power from flowing. We've added this protective device which will trip if there's a short circuit between the live and the neutral. But what if there isn't a short circuit? Perhaps the live has just come out and touching this metal case. It hasn't affected the neutral. So what's going to happen now? We haven't got a short circuit current so this device won't operate. This case here is just going to sit live. So this is why we need to introduce other protective measures to protect this chap. So the way we increase the safety of the electrical installation is to add protective conductors. And these connect to conductive parts and to protect the person here from electric shock. So if this live wire here does touch a case, this earth cable will take the fault back to the transformer, along back to the protective device and operate it. So we've got protection from earth faults, we've got short circuit protection, live neutral faults, and so the electrical insulation has got increased safety. In domestic properties, there's generally three ways in which um, a house could be earthed, the various different earthing systems. The first one is a TT system. This is where the supply is just the live and neutral. The distribution people don't actually give you an earth. You have to provide your own earth, which is often just a rod in the garden, which connects to the MET, which connects to your fuse board. So you just have the live and neutral in, and you provide your own earthing system and that's known as a TT system. The next type of earthing system is known as a TNS. This time the distribution people do supply with an earth and it's often on the sheath of the supply cable. You've got your line in neutral in the cable and the metallic outer covering is connected at the earthing point at the transformer and there's a lead off this cable in your property and this is connected to your main earthing terminal which it then goes onto your consumer unit and onto all the other appliances around the house. So this is your TNS system. The next type of commonly used earthing system is your TNCS system. This is where the earth and the neutral are combined. The neutral is combined back at the start point of the transformer to earth, is reference to earth. So the thought might as well use the neutral as the earth's return path and earth into the property. So the earth it comes along the neutral, it's combined with the neutral, external to the property, uh, and internal to the property, it's separated. TNCS, combined, then separated. So the neutrals of earth are separate in the actual installation, but combined external to the installation. This is something which is done by your distribution people. You would make this connection yourself at the service cutout. That's a job for the DNO. And we're not allowed to touch that kind of thing. So yeah, this is your TNCS. It's combined and then separated and it shares the neutral path. The Earth shares the neutral path. Um, there is issue with this. If the neutral breaks, for example, it can cause issues because as you follow the live round, the neutral, what, what was the neutral return path is now just an extension of the men's kit. So this can all become live. It could live up all the um, protective conductors, your burner terminal. Everything could be all the everything connected to the um, earthing point could become live. So that's why the special considerations they call it protective multiple earthing as well. To put extra earth rods in the ground along the route to make sure that this neutral is earthed and limit the chance of a break and causing issue where everything can rise to man's potential because of a broken neutral. So that's your TNCS system.